Hey guys, welcome back to Aussie Custom Garage. Today, we're gonna to be working on this jet ski. My old faithful jet ski, the old sea -Doo. You guys haven't watched previous videos regarding this jet ski. Bit of a backstory, it's 2006 sea -Doo GTX. Uh, it's like a bomb rider sort of version. Picked it up pretty cheap. Uh, we put a new starter isolator in it and yeah, for two grand, three grand, whatever it was, it's never let me down really. When I say really, it let me down once. The cheap eBay isolated shit itself, so I put another one in it and it's still working. So, my plan is today is I want to change the exhaust on it. Uh, it's got the standard, everything's standard, it's stock, stock, um, Sea do All I've done is put a new wearing in for the jet pump because I stuffed up and sucked the rock up. And yeah, if you know, know what jet skis are like with rocks, they don't love them. So, change the exhaust. I've got a U bend pipe here, stainless steel. I believe it's two and a half or two and a quarter. I have to double check. Uh, from what I've researched, is you just need like a bit of a J pipe, U pipe, um, to fit it in. So, I'll Take a little video of it running at the front right now of stock exhaust, and then I'll put it an after with the uh, without the resignator pipe in it. Should sound pretty sick. From what I've from what I've researched, they sound almost like a sports exhaust on a car, so it should be pretty cool. Should be pretty simple. Um, for it cost me, I think it's about sixty bucks on eBay. If I can find the link, I'll put the link down in below um, of what I brought and you guys can do it yourself it's literally use the old hose clamps use the silicon couplers that are already on it and just make it fit no welding no nothing it should just be a pretty straightforward process so we'll get stuck into it guys don't forget like and subscribe and leave me a comment and let's get this youtube channel up and running we're about 590 subscribers so far so let's get us up to a thousand and we can start doing some pretty cool stuff. Alrighty, so stock is... <laughs> Alrighty, so that's stock. So get your seat ripped off. I'll try and do a little bit of a step by step. I'm not too, I don't know what I'm doing, so. Figure it out and hopefully we get a decent video out of it. Okay, so got the seat pulled off, got the little plastic piece, this piece removed, just four 10 mil bolts and the air box. So that gives you access to all of this. So what we're gonna be removing is, might be a bit hard to see. So we're gonna be using this pipe here that comes from the exhaust then this box down the bottom here that one there, that one's your resignator. Remove the resignator out of it and fit a little little section to it. So get that pulled out, um, release the hose clamps, pull that resignator box out, and then we can measure up how much of that pipe we need to cut. I think we just need a little bit of a, tiny bit of a bend, shouldn't need much. So I probably didn't need to buy that whole pipe, but it's handy because I do have, in another video, I want to make a new, intake here with that with a pod filter i've got uh what have i got i've got this meter length of stainless pipe that i've been trying to learn to do a bit of tig welding on don't judge too much big boy pod filter aeroflow so that'd be nice and i've also brought a little catch can but that'll be a um, video for another time <laughs> When I figure out how to TIG weld properly with that, oh, shit box welder, really, I, I shouldn't have brought it. I really do hate it. I've got another welder at my work that I really like. It's a Unimig brand. So I might see whether I can pinch that for a weekend to, to practice a bit better on. But yeah, we'll get this pipe pulled out, get this um, resignator pulled out, and we'll show you guys exactly what I'm going to do. Okay guys, so resignator is out. Pretty simple process. Um, two hose clamps 
and one 13 mil bolt. Um, 13 mil bolt is what is makes it fixed to the bottom of the hull of the jet ski. Um, this is for the exit side of the exhaust. That's the inlet side of the of the exhaust. I have actually removed the silicon pipe that goes from the original exhaust itself and goes down to there. So, and obviously that's where it gets bolted in. So, I've only, only removed that silicon pipe so it was a little bit easier to film, but it's essentially pretty easy. It's just um, hose clamps, so you can either use a flathead screwdriver or an eight mil socket. I just use an eight mil socket. Nothing fancy that is needed. Literally a couple of hand tools and it takes probably 20, 30 minutes in all, I reckon, to do this job. I'm already at this point of now cutting the pipe. Um, you can either use an angle grinder or a chop saw like this. It's just a cheap eBay one. Uh, not eBay, it's a Bunnings one. So it's the same as essentially like Home Depot or Lowe's in, a, in America. It's a pretty easy mod that you can do to any jet ski really. It shouldn't really muck up with any of the emissions for the computer. This is obviously fuel injected as well. Non-supercharged, just straight three cylinder. So, and it's not two stroke. So I think it'd be pretty, pretty obnoxious if it was two stroke with, without, without the resignator, but each of their own, if you want to piss off your um, local lake or wherever you ride your jet ski, by all means go for it. I'm not the police, but I'm happy as Larry to do this. Um, so yeah, we'll um, get this pipe laid out and see what we can do. So on the further inspection, I may not need to have a J-pipe, so that's all I need to make up the difference. So I'm going to keep that, that little bit of a pipe um, for doing something else in the workshop. I reckon I could probably almost get away with just a straight cut. So I'll use, I'll measure it up, use a little bit of my straight pipe that I've got, and I will use that other exhaust tubing for another project that I've got coming up on a turboed LS car. So yeah, we'll get this measured up and cut it up and work it in there, see what it sounds like. Okay, so I've measured it up at about 230 mil long. Um, I don't know what that is in inches, but 230 mil. So I'll cut that up now and we'll get it whacked in there, put it back together and see what it sounds like. I reckon it'll sound pretty Okay, good. got my little piece cut up. If I took any notice of the original, original resignator, could have just measured that section there it's literally just a straight pipe and you know i've gone a little bit bigger which isn't going to matter it's, a, it's on a silicon coupler on both sides so it should be pretty sweet slide that in there now get it hose clamped up and yep yeah, see what it sounds like Alrighty, guys done simple as that it was actually a lot a lot easier than i thought it would be so I've got my hose clamps back on. I will be replacing these hose clamps because I'm not a fan of how rusty they look. Got my little joiner piece in. So literally for as cheap as it was, that straight pipe, I think it was a little bit more expensive. Not much. Uh, like I said, I'll leave a link down below on the, the eBay listing or you can just go to your local exhaust shop. I've chose to use stainless steel just for the fact of rust. Don't want it to rust not that it's really going to matter but i i live in salt water on the gold coast so the the ski is primarily used in salt water so i've got what have we got 62 mils so what's that like yeah i'm pretty sure that's like two and a quarter inches i think i don't know i'm not real good at that sort of stuff when it comes to to inches okay got her outside so let's let's hear it this will be literally the first time i've heard it so let's see if it made an actual difference. Oh wow. That is crazy. That's so much louder. Wow. That is freaking, um, yeah, wow. That sounds sick. I wish it wasn't so cold and I'd take it out in the water and take it for a run. I reckon that's going to sound cool in the water. 
I might actually take it out. I'll see how we go. If I do, it'll be in this video. If not, it was too cold. So we'll see how we go. All right, guys. So we got the unofficial, but official, but not really official, okay to go out on the jet ski by ourselves. So <laughs> racing down now, gonna chuck it in the water, give it a run, see what it sounds like. It is 22 degrees Celsius. So it's not hot, it's not cold. It's just right, I guess, I don't know. But we'll get this get this Johnny in the water and see if it makes a difference in the water. Obviously the water's gonna muffle the noise a little bit, but it's just an excuse to get out in the water and have some fun, right, I guess. Guys, we made it out on the water. It's a hell of a lot louder. It sounds fucking sick to be honest. But yeah, let, let's take for a run, see what it sounds like, get it warmed up and yeah, whatever. So disaster. Um, ski sort of sunk a little bit, a lot, like a lot. <laughs> so, yeah, I literally got that far from the bridge and I gave it the beans and then was like, oh, this goes all right. And then it started to lose power and I was like, oh, okay, so I turned it off, got the start again, then it it turned itself off that time I was like hmm looked at it I looked at the back of the ski and it was sort of half under the water and I was like that's not normal so I jumped off swam the shore lifted the um the top off and yeah so my awesome little exhaust mod sounds cool but it's popped off <laughs> so all the water that was meant to be coming out coming out no all the exhaust gases meant to come out of the jet pump well it was going inside the ski and all the water that was meant to be coming that's meant to stay outside was coming on the inside of the jet ski so now she's a little bit submerged <laughs> so now i gotta try and figure out what the hell am i gonna do i've got the battery disconnected so i don't fry the ecu and everything too bad hopefully it hasn't done any damage but i'm gonna try and figure out how i'm gonna get the water out of it Put the clamp back on it, put it back to the car, get it back on the trailer, and that's why you use like a bead roller. Bead roll your pipe, guys, so your hose clamps don't slide off. <laughs> oh lord! Or oh, use. I'm mean, just going to weld a section around it, TIG weld it around. I'll take it to work tomorrow. Hopefully, if I ever get this ski back and put a bit of weld around it, and shouldn't have that issue again. Hopefully, but oh man, what a drama! All right, so after I don't know 20 minutes of getting water out i've got most of the water out hose clamp didn't come off hose clamp snapped i just said i was going to replace these hose clamps but Fuck. oh well you live and you learn it's one of those things youtube life youtube luck so thankfully i've got two hose clamps on there i'll take one of those off Put on that other end but yeah whatever see if we can get it running again got it running again um i'm just gonna put it back change one of those hose clamps over from the other side like i showed you so i think i'm gonna get some heavy duty hose clamps for it <laughs> and i'm probably gonna make a bracket to hold it to where that original resonator was so yeah we live when we learn Get it all washed up, get it all put away, and yeah, we'll come back to it and fix it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, got any questions about the mistakes that I just made? Feel free to leave me a comment. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch us.